Hi everybody and welcome back. Welcome back to this, the reconnection space where we talk all things reconnection. Reconnection with ourselves, reconnection with our world and our universe, reconnection with the future that we haven't yet created but the one that we really want to have for us where we feel totally connected with what's going on. So in this video I want to talk a little bit about why it's important to start with reconnecting with yourself. So this is what happens when some clients walk in. Remember I said in the first video if you watched that that they have a future that they they want to get to and they just want to get there as quickly as possible and I get that but there's this piece of work this space I was talking about this this space with someone else today that's got to be looked at it's got to be explored before you can get from where you are where you've been to where you want to get to and some people say okay that's okay so what actually I want to do is I want to talk about these other people and they go into this conversation of if they had or they hadn't or they should have or if only they had or if they had let me have the opportunity and so on and so forth and you get where this is going so what they're looking to do now is they're taking a step back from that's the reason why I'm not there yet okay that's why I'm not there yet but it's not about me it's about all these other people but actually, the first thing that I want clients to do is to understand that the first thing that you can control or influence, and this is like self-development 101 to many of you, the first thing that you can control or influence is you. So something about you is causing the relationship to not be as you want it to be. Something about you is making the relationship to be not what you want it to be. Now, that's not to say that this is your fault. That's not to say that people can treat you however and it's all about you. We're gonna to get to that later. But the first place we need to start is we need to start with ourselves. And a great way to start understanding self is to think about your values. So. Some of you might know what the values words are. We have those core values, honesty, truth, integrity, respect. These are these key words that we hear a lot. Um, but then you think, well, what if there's more? And actually, there's a whole host of values that you can have that perhaps you've never thought about. But the key thing is this. If you don't know what your values are, then you can't express those values to other people. But if your values are not respected, you feel it, even if you don't know what your values are. So a really good exercise is to actually take some time and think about what is it that I value. When you've decided what it is that you value, what are the things that you hold to be true, the next thing you need to look at is how do I live those values? Because it may be that you're not living those values. If you're not treating yourself in a way that respects your own values, no wonder you feel out of line with everybody else. So have a think about that. Maybe you say you really value honesty. Honesty is really, really important to you. But if you are not honest with yourself, how can you expect other people to see that honesty is valued? How can they understand what that means to you? And how can you express that? So you have to understand, this goes back to the three principles I spoke about. To think about your values, you've got to stop. Come out of the busy and stop. You've got to breathe, okay? You've got to be present and you've got to be mindful, being mindful of what you value. And then you've got to accept because you've got to accept that those are the values that you've got. Values are created when we're quite young in many cases. Values are very deep within us, okay? So it's about understanding and accepting this is what's important to me. 
And actually, in order to have healthy relationship with myself and healthy relationship then with others, I have to honor those values. I have to understand those values. And then finally, that will allow you to think about, oh, okay, so now intention with purpose. If I understand what my values are, then I can look at my intention of how I'm being. Now I can start to be more in line with my values. Maybe now you understand what your values are, you see that you are acting in a way that is not aligned with them. And that feels uncomfortable. You get that feeling going on don't you and again I spoke with somebody today where we said how do you describe the space we work in for clients and it's and it's coming out of just the thinking and it's the feeling it's the reconnection moment it's the moment when you suddenly go oh the feeling I had that I wasn't you know satisfied is gone or I feel differently but you've got to feel it and you'll know you'll know if you're feeling um misaligned with your values you know when you feel aligned with your values you'll know okay but you've got to stop and you've got to listen and you've got to breathe and you've got to be present and you've got to be mindful of that and you've got to accept that that's the value and you've got to sit with it and then you've got to say now I can be in line with my intention the way that I want to be and that's going to help me discover what my purpose is so I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this first exploration into the first part of reconnection. It's given you some food for thought. There's plenty of places out there where you can go search for lists of values, okay? Um, but I want you to really spend some time on that and see why it's important, remember, to think about and value yourself and value your own values all right i'm going to catch you soon um, if you've got comments please leave them if you have questions if you have things that you want covered then do let me know i'm going to be posting on here regularly um, i really hope that you enjoy these sessions and i see you soon back here in the reconnection space